what do we have here? Look at that, you guys. A Zascosium asteroid. That is an amazing find. And welcome back, everybody, to Imperial Galactic Survival Alpha 10.2. I'm an old guy gaming, and um, <clears throat> we are going to uh, land in our base here and uh, do a couple of things. But um, I, if you watched the last episode, I went ahead and Googled um, the Polaris uh, quest, the top priority quest, and it is definitely not working right because when I landed on the lava planet, I should have immediately gotten a bookmark uh, to go to where the brewery was located. Um, you know, and, and that's pretty much the way all the quests work in the game. So I just wasn't 100% positive if that particular quest, I actually had to search for it. Um, but apparently it, it's supposed to show up and it didn't for some reason. So uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, offload all of our stuff that we got uh, from the lava planet. And, uh, you know, kind of just get a little resituated here. And then um, I might actually go back to that lava planet and run the map command because the map command basically reveals everything since I've already pretty much um, you know explored the whole planet anyways uh, aside from a couple of a uh, couple of strips that we missed but for the most part we've we explored it all it took me I don't know how long it took me probably three four five real-time hours to do that so I kind of feel like I've already put the work in so I'm not really feeling too bad about uh, you know using the map cheat and uh, see if that thing shows up. If it doesn't show up, then uh, then we're probably just going to have to manually advance the quest. But I would rather actually go to the brewery, um, you know, and and actually see it because it's kind of cool. Um, what I did is I watched a Boric video, um, and, and, you know, a little walkthrough up just up to the point where he found that, and then I didn't watch any more because I didn't want to spoil the quest for myself. Excuse me. So anyway, that's kind of the plan for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, let's get started. So uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, do some basic inventory management. I did stop on the way back home uh, at one of the two cobalt asteroid uh, asteroids that we have in orbit and uh, mined up this cobalt here. So what we're going to do is we're going to access our ore processor and we're going to throw that in there. And let's also pull uh, the other orders out of the J jet that we got. Uh, that all of that stuff there. I think that's all we want to put in here. And then we're going to turn on our furnace and get that stuff smelting. Okay, cool. So um, this is what I have so far. I, I actually did a little bit of a organization here. Um, in our input box, I want to put. Actually, I think I want to keep those pentaxes with me. Uh, but we can put the we can put the stone in there, and then let's go back to the uh, J jet, and we're gonna put all of this stuff in there. The stone and the promethium. Oh wait, no. This I'm sorry. This is the input. Let's pull that back out. Uh, we'll put this stuff in there. And then we'll put uh, this stuff just kind of stored in the output because my general chest is uh, running out of space. Since we now have Zascosium 2, I'm just going to put that in the input. I was kind of hanging on to it, but we don't really need to do that now. Uh, we, we got a lot of extra fuel as well. Um, I might actually keep that on the J-Jet as well. Uh, just because, you know, we use so much fuel, this maybe we'll pull out. Uh, let's put that in the output for other stuff. Uh, we're going to keep the two booster rockets uh, in the J-Jet 2. In uh, general storage, we can put that. And then in the refrigerator, we will put that. Okay, so that should take care of all of our inventory management stuff um, for the J-Jet. So, let me see. There's a few things that we could do. Um... I mentioned in the last episode that we want to, um, that I probably am going to spawn in the prefab tier 1A ship 
and make some modifications and then just use that kind of as our, our starting capital vessel. Now, sooner or later, I am definitely going to spawn in uh, my own uh, UHC Blacklight build. This is a very expensive ship, and this is this you know this is definitely an end game ship. Uh, but sooner or later, we will spawn that in, and that's going to actually be our main capital vessel. But I'm not quite ready to do that yet, because of how much it does in fact cost. So um, we have a couple of options. I could either use the warp shuttle, which I've used in the last several uh, seasons. Um, but I'm kind of thinking I want to maybe try something different. Uh, this is real, a real basic shuttle that was originally designed by Rustimus uh, that I've upgraded, but it's still super limited uh, in you know its capability. It's just barely enough to get you you know where you need to go without uh, you know everything that you really need, such as a medical bay and so forth. Uh, what I've done in the past with this is I've just brought a medical bay with me and attached it when I needed to use it, which is you know I mean it worked, but uh, I think I'd like to get into something a little more. Um, equipped we'll say and so I messed around a little bit with tier 1a in creative mode and came up uh, with some modifications so um, what I want to do I think we're going to just go ahead and spawn this in and make those modifications however I would like to do that in space I do not like to work on capital vessels in gravity it's just too much of a pain in the ass so that means we probably before we even do that we need to get uh, a space station and so now that we have the restroom in the Zascosium, I, I will go ahead and spawn back in my little uh, build platform space station. This is very compact. It's nothing fancy, but it has everything that you need to build in space. Um, and so that'll be the first thing that we're going to do. And that's going to take an hour and 10 minutes. So I'm going to work on, you know, getting everything in the factory that I need to get this guy going. We'll get this guy uh, up into space in place, and then we'll go ahead and spawn in the uh, the Tier 1A capital vessel and get it upgraded. So that's gonna, you know, that's probably gonna take us a two, you know, a couple three episodes to get all of that done. And I'll do I'll do some of that stuff off camera, of course, uh, but that is kind of the plan uh, moving forward. Okay, so anyway, um, for today's episode, I think really. All I really want to kind of do is just, you know, we already got our heavy armor, so we're good to go there. I really want to kind of just go right on back to the lava planet and, um, you know, try that map command and see if we can just continue the quest for the uh, for the Polaris. So let me do a couple of things around here, guys, and then um, I think we'll do that. I'll, I will meet you back at the lava planet. Uh, we'll run the map command and see if we can actually locate the uh, the brewery. If we cannot locate it, and then I think I'll just gonna have to manually advance the quest and we'll go from there. I don't want to do that, but you know sometimes you have to. So anyway, uh, I'll be back in just a little bit. Bye. All right, guys, we are back. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do before we uh, land on this planet is we are going to put our uh, boosters back on. So that way we can do a, a graceful landing this time instead of a oh my god landing. <laughs> Um, so let's get those in place first. Um, oh, I was gonna, I have a block that I need to replace there too. So let's grab, let's actually grab a couple of these because I'm gonna do uh, a couple of things here. So let's get this guy back in place. Like so. <clears throat> I don't have my paint tool with me, so I'll have to fix that later. And then for the booster rockets, uh, what I want to do is, um, I think what we'll do is we'll make like a hard point for those. And uh, there it, we actually have hard points in the in the game too, but I don't have those with me, so we're just gonna do these with blocks for the moment. Okay, that should work. Yeah, we don't. I don't have my paint gun with me, so I can't uh, do anything about that. So we'll just have to keep it plain Jane. Okay, let's put these spare blocks in here. So the the name of the game here is to excuse me, head on down to the planet and. Uh, 
let's also go here and here and here. Oh, the other thing I did off camera to you guys, uh, just so you know, is that I added uh, homing rocket launchers. But I have a limited amount of missiles because I, I didn't have much magnesium, so I got to go get some magnesium. Uh, we have a few, but not very much. So those are grouped up now. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, uh, thrusters. Let's... Well, you know what? We're going to use these thrusters the whole damn time we're on this planet, so there's not really much point in putting them in their own group. If they were thrusters I would leave on here permanently, I would, but I'm not going to leave them on here permanently. I'm only going to put them on when I go to this planet. Okay, so let's get uh, lined up here. So the plan is that we're going to go back to the planet, we're going to run the map command and see if in doing that um, it will locate the, the brewery for us. If that doesn't work, then I think we're just going to have to manually advance the quest, which is going to suck, but you know, the quests have never been all that reliable in this game, unfortunately, because they are kind of fun. Uh, maybe they'll get better in the future. But uh, let's just see, is there any, there's nothing about a top brewery in this list here. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, open up the console. Look at that. Playfield POI top not found. That's interesting. Is it possible that that could be on the moon? the lava moon instead the thing is though is I actually went to that moon um, off camera just to map out the resources and I didn't see anything pop up for that but this is suggesting that it's not here play field POI top not down um. alright you know what let's do that Let's just, I'm just going to try it just so I know for sure. Well, you know what though, since we're here, let's just run the map command because I've essentially uncovered almost everything. So these last few spots, you know, if we discover a couple more things, who cares? So let's do the map. So in all objects, use map hide for hiding them again. Okay, so we've uncovered the whole place. Um... I guess there's not really any way I could tell which one was the brewery unless we just mouse over everything. Ruined landing pad. I mean, but the PDA or the yeah, the console already told us it's not here anyway. So this is probably just a waste of time. Okay. Well, I'm going to let's just go to the moon real quick just just to be sure that it's not there and the reason why I want to try that is because uh, the little bit of reading that I did do in some of the forums uh, there were a couple of folks that said they actually found it on the moon instead of on the planet the lava moon which I don't know I, I don't think it's gonna be here because like I said I was here before and I didn't see anything pop up but let's just double check it because I have since restarted the game whether or not that makes any difference uh, it's anyone's guess but we'll hop down here, we'll just confirm that it's not here, and then we'll just have to manually advance the quest. Alright, so I'll be back in a sec. What do we have here? Look at that, you guys. A Zascosium asteroid. That is an amazing find. I knew there was one... I knew there was one in orbit here, but I mean... You know, it could have been anywhere. Very cool. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to leave that sucker there for now. Um, but we are going to bookmark it. How come it's not uh, showing up on the map? Let's back away from it a little bit. There we go. Very nice find. And uh, so once we get the epic drill, 
we're going to come back and mine that thing. Beautiful. Okay, so I will see you on the moon. Okay, so yep, it says play field uh, top not found. So I'm going to have to assume that, um, that this is broken. What was supposed to have happened is as soon as I landed on the lava planet, then the uh, top brewery should have popped up on the map and the PDA should have updated. But for whatever reason, that didn't happen. Um, it might have had something to do with my um, ingracious crash landing that we had. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. So I guess what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to manually advance the quest. I don't know what else to do. It kind of sucks. I suppose the other thing I could maybe do is try and start it all over again. If we did that, what would we have to do? We basically would just have to go back to the station, uh, go talk to the dude, and then go back to the lava planet again. You know, that wouldn't be that big of a deal to do. I've got tons of Pentaxis, so it's not like it's a big deal to jump there. Oh, you know what, though? It just... It just starts back up where we left off. I don't have... I can't do it all over again. Hmm... Okay, so let's uh, go into our PDA here, find the brewery, and manually advance it. Okay, temperature levels on the exterior hull are reaching critical, strange location for a brewery or, or destroy or anything. Let's get inside quickly as possible. Shit. Um, well, I mean, if we can't, if we can't get inside the brewery if we can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance it would possibly show up now? I don't think so. Let's just try one more time. Jeez Louise, man. Come on, Alien. Get these things fixed. Please. I'm just looking to see if there's a uh, a yellow uh, POI indicator. Well, here, let's just do this. Yeah, playfield top area not found. Okay. Well, that really sucks. That really sucks. I don't know if there's any way I can, you know, reset that that quest or not. So let's do this. Let's go back to the PDA and um, approach station. Okay, so masters of taste. Do we have anything here? Okay. Um, I still recommend to proceed with maximum caution. There's an unknown factor I cannot. Ida, we've discussed this to death several times now. If we want to make progress, this means taking some risks. And beyond that, brewery tour, here I come. Temperature levels on the exterior hall are reaching critical. Strange location for a brewery or distillery or anything. Let's get inside as quickly as possible. Okay, so now what we are, we're supposed to talk to this brewmaster lark guy, so let's do it. Okay, hello, I'm brewmaster lark. How may I serve you? Sir, we... Ah, Yoke sent a message saying you would come, but I carry grave news. How should I put it? We lost our delivery shuttle, and with that, we lost all the precious varin, varin root that we need to brew the anniversary best-selling top of root beer. I'm very sorry your travel might have been to no avail, and we are ruined. Pauses. But could you possibly assist us with this little inconvenience? Again, sir, I must remind... Wonderful! As I, <laughs> as I, I can see, you are not really prepared for this planet. You can find a hazard suit in the armor locker below. Code lock 1234. The data system is updated with the last known position of the shuttle. It was spotted in a nearby lava lake. Scans indicate the suit may be as safe as he says. Oh, that's Ida talking to us. There are a few containers in the shuttle. One of those should hold the roots. Please hurry. We'll be back in no time. 
Awesome. Good luck. Okay, so an, a hazard suit. We're supposed to get a hazard suit, and we're the shuttle is supposed to be in a lava lake. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, the, well, before we do that, well, you know, if we were supposed to get a hazard suit, damn it, we're going to get a hazard suit. So I'm going to open up the cheaty menu, and we're going to go into it, and we're going to type in hazard, wait, uh, okay, that's supposed to show everything, but I don't, I don't see anything about a hazard suit. That's just, those are just the normal armors. Um, what about suit? No, suit doesn't bring anything up. And hazard doesn't bring anything up. Well, we got ripped off out of a hazard suit. Unless maybe it's just an arbitrary thing. We don't actually physically get one. But then how would we actually get into the lava, though, is the thing. Hmm. Damn it! All right. Well, let's just, let's hop back down to the planet for a second and see if we actually get an indicator to see if this shuttle is actually in the lava. Because I guess what I could do is go into God mode just to retrieve the roots. I want a hazard suit, man. Okay. Well, how in the hell am I even going to know, you know? Not to mention the fact that there really aren't any lava lakes on this planet. I saw very, you know, real small, like, ponds of lava, but I never saw any lava lakes on the whole time I went around it. Okay, well, shit. I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna assume that part's broken, too. In fact, it's... I don't know if we'll be able to do any of the rest of this quest. There goes the timer. All right, let's get back up into orbit here. So, okay, so this is basically him telling us to go to the lava lake to get some Varen root. Oh, you know what? I don't know how much Varen root I'm supposed to get. Oh, equip suit. Um... Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I have to assume that uh, we would have had some kind of a suit to equip, but I don't know. All right, lava pool. Find the shuttle. Advance that. This appears to be the shuttle. Seems like someone survived the crash for a time at least. Okay, anything new in the PDA at this point? Okay, supposedly we found that hazard suit. Um, to keep us warm. Okay, so that didn't really update at all. Root problem. Okay, what does this say? Retrieve the roots. It doesn't give us anything more. Retrieve roots. So what would happen if we went back into Cheaty Menu and Varen Roots? Let's just put some of those in our inventory. Did it do anything? <laughs> it says four roots in the in the right hand corner, but we just put four roots into our inventory and it didn't do anything. Ah, shit. Okay. Is it because we put four in there? Whoops. Or put too many? It shouldn't matter.
Nope. I think this quest line's broken all the way through, you guys. That really sucks. Attention, enemy contacts coming. Yeah, right, okay, whatever. Are they actually coming? <laughs> Did they spot them wherever we happen to be at the moment? No, that guy's been cruising around all along, so it's not him. Um, Hot pond fight. Defend the ship. Okay, yep, we just defended our ship. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's get out of here. Delivery guy. Bring back the roots. Um... Okay, so bring back the roots. Oh, to the guy at the root bear place, right? Yeah, okay. Well, we can't do that, so. Welcome back, sir. Did you have any success? We have found. Awesome. Please go over to the brewery main building and check with my colleague, Ur 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 He will initiate the final brewing process. Tasty Ness, root master. Lark said you would come. You are late. Yes, wait. Um, er, oh, we bring you the... Now, please, do not stand in the way. The whole universe of taste is in peril. Scans seem to indicate this life farm is 60% root beer. Oh, man, I'm what, that sucks that we're missing this. <laughs> Damn it. Hurry, hurry. If I do not start... You know what I'll probably do is I'll probably actually finish watching the Boric video do this because this, this looks like it would have been fun. Um, Hurry, hurry. If I do not... If I do not start, we will miss the anniversary party. So please, silence your squawking comm system. Did that life form just... This process will take a few minutes. Thank you for understanding. There is a recreationary in the office on the other side. Please proceed there now. I will join you in a moment. Okay, wait. Go to the office. Let's look around a bit. And fight. Anything more here? Is it just... this? Is, yeah, let's look around a bit. Okay. Um, defend the station. Wait, how come it's not letting me select that now? Do I have to wait for this to go away? Alright, so it just went away. Okay, now it's not letting me manually advance this. Wonderful! Alright, you know what? Screw this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to give ourselves an epic drill and five beer and screw this quest. <laughs> I'm tired of messing with it, man. Holy crap. Okay, so let's go into here. Epic drill. We got ourselves an epic drill. Oh, wait. This is Brewmaster Lark speaking. Battle stations. We have sabotage. We have been sabotaged. Sabotage, I tell you. Station and turrets are shut down and we are tracking signals coming from all sides. Defend the station until we are back online. Protect the employees. Okay. Um, now can I advance it? Yes. Brewing root beer in Andromeda is a very involved process. I did threats incoming, weapons free, engage, engagement recommended. Okay, first wave. Defeat the troops. More enemies are coming. Second wave. Defeat the troops. It sucks that we can't do this. Third wave. But it is what it is. Okay, now we can't... Wait. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. That's it. I win, you lose. My beer should be ready in the meantime. Victory. Get gratification. Formidable. How can we ever repay you for this extraordinary service? Root beer. Uh, oh, root beer? Ah, I know. A ticket A ticket for the anniversary party. They, these have been sold out for months already. Uh, thanks, I think. Go to the alien planet in the system and find the Inferno Club. Check with the club manager. The delivery has already been dispatched with another shuttle, so nothing remains for you here. You will get the promised gratification, of course. Thanks again for helping in, in our ambitious early access development. What? It has been a pleasure, sir. I have compiled a list of reasons we should not... Wonderful. Alien planet. Um... How many alien planets? These are all alien planets. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, shit. Okay, well, actually, there is, a, there is an alien class planet. Um, so we know it's not that. A uh, Nasset is... A barren planet. 
Kopasi is a desert planet. Whoops. Reest is a nice planet, and I think Thrafo is also a nice planet. Yeah, so how in the hell are we supposed to go to an alien planet when we don't even know where the hell it's at? Hmm. Well, let's let's jump to here and see if it un if it uncovers another another planet. Where's our thing? Not possible. Please deactivate. Oh. Okay. So if yeah, we'll see if this uncovers another planet. Okay, it did. Uh, two, as a matter of fact. So we got this alias planet. This is an arid planet. And this Eshroska, which is an alien planet. Okay, all right, well, let's go. We're doing okay on Pentaxid, right? This whole new Pentaxid thing, you know, with the, with the beefed up tanks and everything, kind of make small vessels like seriously OP for jumping now. At least in terms of capacity. I wonder if you're still limited though to 16 AU like uh, in earlier versions of the game. Okay, so we're going to go to this planet. And we'll see if the quest updates. If it doesn't, then screw it. I'm going to just manually advance it all the way to the end. This is your last chance quest to work. <laughs> last chance. Look at that. <coughs> it actually updated. Okay. There it is. All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Um, we're going to trash that, and we're going to disable, whoops, uh, the cheat menu, and then we're getting the episode. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've already got over it anyway, um, but, uh, we will pick up right where we left off, and we'll go uh, check out the Inferno Club, and then... Maybe we can actually finish out this quest the way that it's supposed to be finished out. Okay? Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Come and hang out with us on Discord. Come and hang out with me on a live stream. I do live stream several times a week on Twitch. And you can find the links to both of those places in the About section of the YouTube channel. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.